all day yesterday, on Sunday. I did get this covered though, so it looks much nicer. I also put these in. I still have to cut the piece for this. It goes across here. I want to show you what I scored at work. So at work, there's all these <coughs> trash bins. Metal, plastic, wood, cardboard, whatever. And um, there's always all kinds of stuff in there from the different uh, labs and, and classes and stuff. So today I scored this piece of Luan, which is going to be perfect once I cut it, to go up and around the back here. So, I'm still going to clean all that out up there though. I haven't cleaned it out yet. Um, I need to clean it out. And then once I get this piece cut and attach it, because when I attach it, this is going to come down just a little bit. And I'll make a template to go around the back. I'll cut that for it. Alrighty. Right now, I'm going to change clothes. And I'm going to go fill giant holes from our rock harvesting. Catch you later. So, Tuesday, June 18th. Is my head even in this? Okay, let's try this again. Uh, Tuesday, June 18th. I already said that. And I have ordered a Sorry, apparently I can't talk and unscrew a screw at the same time. And, oh my gosh. The mosquitoes are horrible. Now that the black flies are gone, I have to contend with mosquito, uh, mosquitoes. So, I've ordered a new pad for this because my things were not staying on. Oh man, do I need an element? <sighs> Okay, I almost can't take this because the mosquitoes are really, really bad. Okay, so I found a screwdriver that will fit. Okay, uh, I gotta go somewhere else. Twenty-seven mosquito bites later, that's done. That's not working very quickly. Let's see if we can speed it along. Ah, shit. I'm just gonna cut. Let's see what happens. Save more. loose now. That's right. Okay. I'm just doing it. I'm going to make this frame out of two by twos. I think that'll be sturdy enough. Um, the actual cushions are lightweight. It's not like um, the jackknife sofa, which is really pretty heavy uh, and I think it needed a lot more sturdy frame which is why I use 2 by 4s So I've got these cut. Um, if you notice it's skewed it's because it has to be because this wall slants in. So it's going to be 13 inches deep here and 12 inches deep here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put this together um, and then figure out where I'm going from there.
will be elevated, of course. But basically, when the Murphy that is folded up, this is what it will look like. Tape measure. So accounting for half an inch of plywood on there, that's 25 inches. 25 inches plus I've got to make it 20 inches tall. So it will come up to here, which isn't too bad. That's not bad at all comes up to there, I should be able to get it folded up by squishing it right up here, just this corner, should be good. Yeah, this is going to work. Looking. I don't even know. Okay, well that's not too bad. I think that'll be okay. Look how much room I'm gonna have when everything's folded up. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, that's it for today. It's already quarter to eight. I need to get dinner ready. So I'll wrap this up. Good evening. It's um, Wednesday, June 19th. And although I would like to do small work on this one, um, I've run out of screws. And I'm not sure if I want to use three quarter inch plywood or if I want to use half inch plywood. Not sure which would be better. Um, the three quarter obviously would be stronger. <clears throat> but I only have two sheets of the three quarter inch plywood left, and I'll need both of those to make <clears throat> the two cabinets on each side. And so I have to buy another sheet of plywood anyway, either way. Um, I'm thinking the three quarter inch will be a bit heavy to be lifting up and down and to hold. Um, I plan on holding this in place by strapping it using the, the L-Track, um, put a, a ring bolt here and a ring bolt on the back side over here and just strap it up. And, uh, you know, I'm just not sure if the three quarter inch plywood would be a bit, will be a bit heavy uh, for that. <clears throat> Plus I'll probably attach it with a piano hinge and I'm not sure if the three quarter inch plywood will be too heavy for that as well. So. You know, I don't know. I think I think the half inch plywood will be sufficient. I plan on putting legs on it on on the side over here so that it's supported, obviously. Um, and I plan on having it so that where it hinges, it will rest on some some sort of you know like the face the face for the for the door fronts or something like that, you know, have that um, not all the way to the top so that when the plywood comes down it, it rests on that. <coughs> uh, anyway, so enough of all that. Um, so I'm not going to work on any of that. Um, I screwed up my hour somehow of what, how much time I have left that I have to take, use or lose, and I actually have 17 hours left. I thought I only had 9 hours left. Um, Actually, no. I knew I had 17 hours left, but I thought I had until next week to take it all. I don't. I have to take it by the end of this week. So I'm taking, I was planning on taking Friday off, and then next week take Friday off. <clears throat> Instead, I'm taking Thursday and Friday off this week, and I'm going to lose some of my hours. Um, not very much, like a little over one hour. No big deal. Um, if I would have realized that before the end of the day today, I would have left an hour early today. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I'm going to clean this up. I've put the first coat of polyurethane on this board here, and, and 
you know, I can't mount it until that's all, you know, I want at least three coats on it. <clears throat> so I can, however, at least screw this in down here on each end so that this is in the right position to make the template for number one. So enough gabbard. I'm going to clean this up and then we'll uh, make the template. in there. I'll show you a little close up here. I know it's dark, but it's not perfect, um, but this is a storage area anyway, so uh, I plan on putting four-way stretch carpet up here, and that will basically, you know, take care of this gap here when I tuck the carpet into there. I know this is dark. Um, I'm going to let this dry here like this, and then tomorrow I will take it out and sand it. Um, I don't know. Hopefully it won't crack. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not a wood, I'm not a woodworker. Um, it sort of looks bent there, but it looks like it's holding up okay. This one is a little more rounded. Um, but it's in there. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, I would have posted it tomorrow, but I can't post from home. Um, I'm on DSL and um, pretty much almost three miles from the box. So the most I can get is three megabyte, and that is not enough to try to upload. Um, and really, honestly, I live in the boonies, so there isn't much in the way of sort of high speed internet anywhere around here. Um, No big deal. Um, it'll get posted Monday, I guess. But I will wrap this video up now and edit it all and get it ready for posting on Monday. And then I'll have a video for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and hopefully Sunday as well. I don't know. In between all this time, I've got to fill more rock harvesting holes and i got to cut grass. So, we'll see. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.